Hi, this is Talky Toaster. I'm going to show you how simple it is to install the maps uh, ready for use on your Garmin. Now this assumes that you've actually already downloaded the zip file as here and all you need to do is double click on it and you'll see that's open the file. What we're looking for here is the big long file name. This is actually the map file. Uh, if Windows tells you it's a disk image, completely ignore it. But what we need to do is basically copy this file onto our card. Now this assumes that you've actually already installed uh, your micro SD card, usually in an SD to micro SD adapter, and it's installed there. So I've got it here as card J. Okay. So if you right click on the map file and hit copy, and then if we go to J, which is the card, the first thing we need to do here, it's really important, is to make a directory. So we need to make a new folder here. So we want to do new folder. We have a new folder and we call it Garmin. It must be called Garmin, otherwise it will not work. Once you've done that, click anywhere, double click on the Garmin folder, and then right click anywhere in this window and select paste. You've got paste there, okay? And this will actually put the file actually into there. I'm gonna pause this now while it completes. It'll take a couple of minutes. If you try to do this directly with your Garmin attached and the micro SD card inside, it will take up to 30 minutes. So bear with bear with it. Uh, it's better to do it through a, a, a micro SD to SD adapter in your laptop. This assumes this is for Windows 10, but it will work for Windows 7, Windows 8, Vista, and even XP much the same way. Right, as you can see, I use my time machine to magically move forward in time. And as you can see, the, the actual comp the copying of the map file is almost complete. When it's done, which is about now, you'll see the actual file in there. And again, you've got the full file name. This is in the Garmin folder on the micro SD card that you have there. And if you have a modern Garmin, such as a, an Oregon or a Montana or an Etrex 2030, an Etrex Touch 25 or 35, um, or an Edge 800 or later, you don't need to change the file name at all. If you have an older model, such as a, a Legend HCX or a Vista HCX or a, 60, a G, GP, GPS Map 60 CSX or something similar of that age, you have to change the map name, otherwise it will not work. To do that, all you do is right click on the file, go to Properties, that's the simple way of doing it, and you want to remove everything before everything before the GMAP SUP and everything after it apart from the IMG part. So if we get there, so you have, you'll end up with gmapsup.img. That's the really important thing, that's only for the older one. So if you've not got an older one, don't change it. If you have got an older one, obviously you want to change it to that and then save it, that'll be fine. So we'll leave it like that for now, that is basically it. Now you've got to that situation, all you need to do is to eject your card in the usual way, right click on the card, and one of the options there is to eject. Once you click eject, the card will be ejected. You can then put the card directly into your Garmin, and when you power it up, it should recognize the map automatically and load it. And that is it. Simple, isn't it? This is the same process, whether it's a free map from my site, or whether it's one of the paid TT1-50 to look and feel maps. So I hope that's been useful. I'm going to do a similar routine for this, um, another video for use on a Mac. So those of you who have Macs, I'll be catering for you shortly. Thanks very much. Bye.